Arena. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? And now it's time for our tale of the tape. And it's Sean Porter, weighed in at 157 pounds. He's five foot six inches and has that nice reach of about 70 inches. And in this corner, it's the Roan Sniper the Boss Richards. This southpaw will box your ears off if you let him. 180 centimeters tall with 180 centimeter reach. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. John Showtime Porter, the two-time welterweight champion of the world, born in Ohio, but fighting out of Las Vegas, USA. Barone Sniper the Boss Richards. This light heavyweight and super middleweight always comes looking to entertain the crowd. Oh, pure bad blood. And now it's time for the official introductions. And for that, we go to the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Northeast Ohio, here is a welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter. Fighting out of the blue corner from Surrey, England, a British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion, Larone Sniper the Boss Richards. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Todd, it's one of my favorite venues. You can't get a better place to fight. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. the bell to start the round. Perfect punch. And he'll hug him again, but you can't blame him, can you? There's a tactic to clinching. When you clinch, you're taking someone out of their pace. You're making them feel uncomfortable. It's something they're not used to. But it's a fashion of clinch as well. You can be a dirty clincher. Pull him, pull the arm out the shoulder, lean on him, but do it on the blind side of the referee so he doesn't know. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? Not so rigid anymore with the stance. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. Did you see the nerves on the fight stepping into the ring, Tom? It can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. What a punch. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. Trying to fight. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Smart move there to buy some. Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow, it's like two different leagues. They ring the bell and here we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. 
They've had one minute to recover now. They've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. He threw a punch and just got countered. Counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you and usually hit you harder. You're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching you every move, that every touch. I'm trying to relax a little bit now, fight a little differently. landing in these exchanges judge is going to have a tough job smart move to grab a hold of your opponent but obviously you can't do that too often yeah you've got to clinch what the idea is just to get your opponent to complain to referee get him to complain about the conditions get him to just feel uncomfortable keep doing unorthodox things i don't mind that now and again but don't make a habit of it perfect counter shot oh that punch It's a smart move to clinch, but you can't do that too often. They need to be worried that the referee's not going to throw them out of the ring and disqualify them both. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you... They're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. A lot of fighters focus on their defense. And it, oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. Is he out? Is he going to move? Is there a twitch? Three, four, five. The referee says they can continue, but how much more do they have left? Hard, he's up. I I'd be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. At the halfway point, there's no doubt who's won this round so far. No doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's got it in hand. You can see who's come. How many more times is the referee going to let these fighters clinch each other without taking a point? It tells me so much when a fight is holding on. It means they've been hurt. It means they're tired. Or it means they don't know what to do. Why weren't they more cautious? Beautiful sneaky shot to take his legs away from him. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the... And they're down just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. I've seen many shots like that. A simple, simple short shot. Put the fighter down. Talk about Sean Porter. Now, we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Something has got to change after two knockdowns in the last round. Two knockdowns in that last round. There'll be sheer panic in that corner. What do they do? Do they throw the towel in? Do they let him come back out again? Because they know their fighter is like a lamb to the slaughter. Beautiful counter punch. Punch is beginning to take its toll. Oh, that punch. Got him there. A 
a lot of people love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. A very competitive round here so far. They are giving us a high tempo show. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He's gonna loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. That punch has been his best. Seconds are so precious at this stage of the game. I don't know if it's a dancing competition or a fight. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Sean Porter in that last round. And there's the bell to start the round. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Beautiful counter shot. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Gotta do, Tony, it's anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. The stamina is off the charts. With that jab. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's not a match made in heaven. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? Back in the history books, some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweights, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. Yes, you can imagine that being you. Look at side. Smart move to clinch there, but the referee's only going to let you do that so often. You've got to save that in the back, because if you're ever hitting her, a clinch will save your life. You've got to hold on, clear your head, step up again. Push them, hold them, lean them down. So when you're going to use those clinches, do it on the blind side of the referee. Then This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Sean. They ring the bell, and here we go. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Touching him up again. Well, you know, in this division, you got to have speed and you got to have footwork or you're going to be a cooked goose. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you're in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Nice counter punch right up the middle. So much firepower here. Touch 
switching him up again. Perfect counter lands. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about... They ring the bell and here we go. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Can't find a home for that jack. In this division, both fighters will constantly be on their toes trying to punch and counterpunch. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. Better be careful, the referee may take a point if he keeps clinching. Has to hold on, getting hurt every time the punches land. Just misses with that jab. The corner's gotta take, oh, and that changes everything, and down they go. What a shot, was that a flash knockdown? He, he, he should get up from that, he's fresh enough. He, he can get up from that. Does he want to? So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt.